So there's this area of my sacrifice plot that is prone to just standing water. And I know that a swale would be a good idea, but I just cannot bring myself to do it because A, do I have to rent some sort of excavator? B, if I do it with a shovel, it's just gonna be a lot of work. And so I've just been dragging my feet. So I'm taking a permaculture class through Cornell University and we had to mark swales. And you can actually see that in my previous video. Well, I got it all marked up. I made the tool and I'm like, you know what? Just do it. How hard can it possibly be? Let me take you through it. It's kind of hard to see, but this is the contour line that I had measured out and marked with bamboo stakes in my previous video. I started at my first bamboo post. Doug, again, I'm only going down six to eight inches because I have livestock in this area. That is also why I'm going to leave the bamboo poles here as a guide to where the swale is. They're watching me right now. When digging, I'm standing uphill. The soil that I take out from the swale trench gets piled on the downhill side. What's gonna happen is the water comes down the uphill, right? It's going downhill, collects in here, along with any other sediment, where all of that collects and slowly permeates into the berm below. So this is all I'm using. I mean, it's what people have been using for centuries. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me, right? It's just a shovel. And that's what I'm using to actually break up the earth. And then after I get the initial trench scraped out, I go in with this, um, you know, the long way here like this in an effort to just sort of make everything smooth and flat on the bottom. Look, it's working. There's already water seeping in. This is after 24 hours. You know what, my gut always told me I needed a swale here because it was always just so soggy and I didn't do it, didn't do it because, I mean, it's a lot of work. And I doubted myself with the shovel and thought I was gonna have to get an excavator but didn't want to spend the time or the money. Um, it's been a lot easier than I thought. And I do have some questions. Maybe you know the answers and you can put it in the um, comments below. One is I haven't been cutting back the roots that I'm coming across and leaving them intact in the swale because I feel like, well, they're absorbing water, which is helpful. Let me know if I should be cutting the roots. Um, but the second thing is I plan on just leaving this as a, a ditch. I mean, we have some clay here. It's very compacted. Um, but is it worth putting rock in? So if you have any experience with that, I'd love to hear what you've done or your feedback. Um, but coming out here with the shovel, uh, yeah, it's a lot of work, but I just get to skip my cardio workout today, <laughs> right? I, honestly, I wish I would have done it sooner. Okay, we had our first rainfall. Look at that. 